What would you do if a tragedy suddenly struck? Do you have a plan? Just how equipped are you? Well, in a moment, you'll be glad to learn that our first responders have people, equipment, and plans in place to address almost any sudden catastrophe. East Jefferson General Hospital presents Healthy Lifestyles. Hello and welcome to Healthy Lifestyles. I'm Ramona Tyler and my guest today is Mike Gilliatt, Director of EMS at East Jefferson General Hospital. Welcome. Now Mike, you have an amazing array of supplies prepared for a large disaster. So let's start with this trailer, which is always ready to roll, right? It is. We are fortunate East Jefferson to have this such trailer. It's an MCI trailer in case we, uh, God forbid, have a large scale event such as a bus crash, a school shooting or something of that sort where we have multiple patients and we need to set up a, a huge triage area, need a lot of resources and equipment. And what are some additional resources that East Jefferson has to deal with emergencies? East Jefferson Hospital has been fortunate over the last few years to obtain a number of federal grants just to uh, uh, in, improve our uh, infrastructure for emergency preparedness. Uh, in addition to the MCI trailer, we also have a, a western uh, shelter tent system, which is two large 19 by 35 tents that are fully um, air conditioning, heated. We also have uh, stretchers, cardiac monitors, where we could set up patient care if necessary inside these shelters. And now your staff trains and drills for a wide assortment of scenarios, don't they? We do train in coordination with the Jefferson Parish EOC, the Sheriff's Office, uh, municipal police departments within the parish, such as Kenner and Harahan. We do train with them and we are prepared to uh, respond to any type of incident if should, should occur. Thanks, Mike. I know I was surprised to learn of the detailed levels of preparation our first responders have in place. I also know it gives me great peace of mind. Thanks for watching.